If you are looking for some great deals and some amazing bargains at Dollar Tree, then you are going to love today's video. I'm Jamie, the Crafty DIY Guy. Welcome back to my channel. What's up everybody? I'm excited about today's Dollar Tree haul. We've got a lot of great things. It's kind of that weird time at Dollar Tree right now where we're kind of outside of Easter or at least a lot of the Easter stuff has already arrived at stores and then we're waiting on like spring and summer and some of it is sprinkling in and then there's some new random project products that are also showing up. So um, the first thing I grabbed and I was pretty excited about it was a full size box of Chex cereal. This is peanut butter chocolate and uh, this is more than $1.25 in the stores. I can't talk today y'all. And then this full size like big big box of uh, pumpkin spice Cheerios. I love Cheerios. I love everything pumpkin spice. I don't care if we're going into the summertime. <laughs> I'm excited about this. And uh, I actually bought two of each of these boxes because I'm going to put them in the Crafty Cares kind of a donation bin and I have that bin here. Um, there's some canned goods that are down in there too. I'm hopefully going to be taking some stuff to the free pantry very very soon but it was such a great deal like why not grab it and um you know also i love cereal there was also lucky charms but in full disclosure i've already eaten those so um nothing to show here uh the other thing that i did grab you know the um uh, kind of cleaning system that dollar tree has where you can buy the pole individually and then you're buying like the mop heads or the broom heads well they have a dustpan head now and uh it's got a really nice kind of depth to it i like that it's got this little rubber kind of Thing on the bottom here that helps when you're sweeping and then you put one of the tall long poles in it and it allows you to use a dustpan without having to bend over and you know get down on your like practically on your hands and knees sometimes to um, use the dustpan so loved that I'm not gonna put that in the bin um, the other thing that I did grab are some honey roasted what is wrong with me y'all some honey roasted peanuts and um love these i love to throw these in salads actually i think that they're really cute really really i was gonna say they're really cute they're really cute i don't know what's wrong with me today uh, the other thing that i did grab were some english muffins my store has started getting english muffins and bagels they've always had bread but now they're getting this other stuff and i think that that's pretty cool um I should have probably bought two packages of those to be able to donate one to the pantry, but I honestly didn't don't know when I'm going to the pantry next. So that was um, another thing. Uh, Mr. Otis is sneaking around here somewhere, so I'm sure he's going to make an appearance soon. Um, and speaking of Mr. Otis, found some really cute iron-on stickers. These are like cats. And uh, then they also had some that were dinosaurs. Now, if you're familiar with um, the brand Coach, they have some... Um, kind of uh, merch that has like the dinosaur and things on it. Apparently the dinosaur is really popular now. And I was thinking that these could be fun. Like if you were to put them on like a kid's denim jacket or something and they're iron on stickers. So I think that they'd be pretty easy to use. And um, I don't know, I think that they just, just would be fun. I keep wanting to put things in this bin. That's not the bin for, um, Dollar Tree hauls. All right, plant hangers. These plant hangers are great. I've used these for a lot of different DIYs throughout the years, and I did pick up a couple of those. There's one around here in another bag somewhere. Um, how cute is this little marquee initial letter, right? Super cute. It's a light. Um, you just pull the little tab in the back. There's an on-off switch and you get a little light up marquee letter. Now they did have these for a couple different, um, they, they they had a ton of them. I think they had probably every single alphabet when I was looking at them and um, thought that they were really fun. Now, if you're wondering, you're probably noticing my glasses and thinking, what the heck has he got on? Um, these are uh, top frames from the pair eyewear collaboration that I did and these are um, Sesame Street. So these are Bert and Ernie and I thought they were really cute. So that's what I'm doing. Speaking of cute, there's a guy named John. John has a company called uh, Crazy Socks and um, his company is great and I've loved his socks. Um, and uh, they had crazy socks. They had John's crazy socks at Dollar Tree and uh, they're all food related. So I thought that they were just really fun. Uh, this one is Fruit Loops. How cute is that? This one is Swedish Fish. How cute is that? And these, retail I want to say for like six or seven dollars a pair and they were $1.25 at the Dollar Tree and then Sour Patch Kids super cute Chips Ahoy 
I was able to grab one of everyone because they were literally putting them out as I was there. Um, mac and cheese, oh my gosh, mac and cheese. Um, cup of noodles, how cute is that? Kool-Aid, they have Kool-Aid socks and then Oreos. But how cute are those socks? Oh my gosh, I need uh, another dresser for all of my socks. Uh, let's see, what else is in here? Oh, this is um, something that I thought was really, really cute. This is really like kind of high-end looking. Have you guys seen these luxury hand soaps that they have at Dollar Tree yet? Look at the pomp. Like this, it's it feels like it's plastic. But um, this is a really kind of high-end looking pump and the the scent that I grabbed is pumpkin spice. They do have it in a couple different scents, but um, I just loved the container and you could literally strip these these labels off of here, put your own label on here and make it kind of fit within your theme. You can save this over and over again and use this for another one. And I think because this looks like it's probably about the same size as a mason jar, you just replace this. Uh, put it on top of a mason jar and have a great, really kind of higher end looking hand soap. You know, those things can be really, really expensive. Um, that is for something else that's coming up. Um, office supplies. You guys know, I hope you know anyway by now, I am a licensed Georgia realtor and uh, I have been doing it now for about two weeks. And um, the um, training program I'm going through with Keller Williams is amazing. I'm super, super happy with it. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of responsible for my own office supplies and things. And Dollar Tree is a great way to do those. Look at these great envelopes. Like they're envelopes for putting projects in there. I can put buy information in here I can put um, you know like a, I have a, it's a like a I don't even know what they're really called but I have like a buyer kit and I have a seller kit so it gives them great information and forms and mortgage lenders and just a lot of referrals type thing so um, I'm thinking that I can create those kind of little packets with these and kind of leave these as my closing um, not as my closing gift but like more closing for the meeting if that's making sense um, still trying to figure it all out but I'm having fun with it and uh, I definitely feel like I made a good uh, I made a good decision so um, speaking of good decisions how cute is this little pencil case it's made with like cork and uh, it feels like cork I don't think it is cork because I don't think it would hold up very well um, they're all kind of like wrinkly like this like I went through the whole package and they're all kind of like that and I guess it's probably just the cork and the way it's made so it can expand when you actually put pencils and things in it it is kind of see-through so um that that's kind of cool that makes me think it probably is something something to do with cork let's see of course, it doesn't say what it's made out of. It's Dollar Tree. But uh, I'm going to put this in my little binder that I have and just be able to carry some pens and pencils with me. And I think that because I don't think it is cork or it's like a plasticky kind of coated cork, I think you could take some vinyl or some stickers and customize this. So I'm probably going to put my, you know, business card or something on there. Um, let's see what else. These... Um, little wood rings. Now they have um, two, they have uh, three or four different kinds, but these are kind of the squared off looking beads. I'm working with my new camera here, so it may be trying to uh, focus. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but um, they have them in this brown and then they have them in this kind of clear, or not clear, this unfinished wood. And again, the beads are kind of square-esque, very, very cute. Love the way that these look think that I could do some fun DIY wreath forms with these, but honestly, I was also thinking I could just take them off of here and then have a lot of great kind of square beads to use. Why not? Um, this is something for my car, since I do have clients that I'm going to be taking around to, you know, view homes and things. Um, this is just an auto air freshener. It looks like a little satchel. I thought it was kind of cute looking, and I thought, honestly, like here, the picture, they show the person like hanging it on their, like, headrest and I don't think I would do that because sometimes these things can be overpowering but I have an SUV so I'm thinking I'm just gonna lay this in the back of the SUV and that way the car smells good and um, you know I have to clear out all of my Dollar Tree hauls when I'm in there <laughs> Um, wood dowels. The wood dowels are coming back at Dollar Tree. I haven't seen these in a while as well. I did grab a couple packages of those. 
Um, I think I mentioned to you guys I've gone to probably three different stores with this haul, so there's kind of a little bit of mix of everything, but whenever you get those receipts, be sure and check out Fetch Rewards. If you don't know what Fetch Rewards is, it's an app that rewards you for shopping. So every time you go shopping, you scan your receipt and you are going to earn points for that shopping trip. Now, those points are gonna vary. Sometimes they have specials with different products and things, but what's really cool about Fetch Rewards is that you're gonna earn points every time you scan any kind of receipt. So it could be a McDonald's receipt, it could be a Dollar Tree receipt. And uh, I have a referral code down below in the description box. And when you scan your first receipt, I believe you're going to get 2000 points to put towards your bank. And you can redeem those points for gift cards like Amazon and movie theaters and restaurants and even cash cards like Visa and MasterCard. So it's a good thing to do. Um, check it out in the description box below. And uh, more Dow Rods, I grabbed a couple packages of those they were only the short ones though i didn't see the longer ones these little tiny hooks i have a dollar tree diy idea coming up that um playing around with seeing if that's gonna work um i saw these fresh um sauces packages and this particular one is for an asian stir fry the sodium in it is it's it's a little high, but I think what I'm gonna do is probably just use half of this in my stir fry. So I thought I'd give those a try. I'll put those over there with my food. Um, this was new, saw this in the office supply area and uh, thought that it was really, really fun. Somebody's at my door, so I apologize for the doorbell. But this gel tape is something that could be super fun. And uh, it's double-sided and it's a little bit thicker than regular double-sided tape, but for DIY projects and things, that could be really, really good. Um, I do have a Cricut Joy now and I've been playing around with that. So these kind of smaller packages of vinyl kind of work perfectly for the Joy. So I grabbed one of those. This was a fun pattern. Um, it's really hard to see there, but it's kind of like a viney kind of a floral pattern, which thought could be fun. I don't know if this stuff is any good or not. I've heard different things about it. Um, if you follow Bethany Frankel at all on her TikTok, she does a lot of Dollar Tree um, kind of product testing, and this is one of them that she's tested, I think. And uh, it's supposed to work with, it's age-defying, it works on dark circles, puffiness, and serum. So I want to, uh, I want to see how it works. Now, these were really, really cute. These are in the kind of summer area. Look at this. It's a little wind chime for outside, and it looks like a boat buoy. See, it says beach on the one side, and then it has like a, a longitude, latitude degree. Thought that that was super, super cute. I have a really cute oak tree out front, and then they had it in this color as well. And again, thought that that could be super, super cute out on the tree and they are ceramic. Um, there was some bubble wrap that was wrapped inside of there to help protect them. And um, they made it home safely from Dollar Tree. So that's a plus. Um, some chenille um, kind of pipe cleaner things. I have a wreath that I'm working on for kind of springtime, I guess. And uh, that is going to be coming up. They had these great chalkboards. I've not seen this color before. So I grabbed the black with the beaded front. Um, I like the black there and want to do some DIYs with that. These little house frames are kind of blanks. Um, they've got the little easel back to them. So you could really do anything. You could decoupage pictures on here. You could get out your Cricut if you have one or another cutting machine, stickers. If you're great at painting, I'm not good at freehand painting, you could do that as well. So that's something super cute. These round kind of circles, I did a DIY a couple weeks ago and wanted some of these and of course, couldn't find them, but uh, now I've got them for my stash. Uh, this is super cute. I wanted to grab several of these, honestly, for Christmas decor. If you wanted to do like a farmhouse tree, you could paint the star red, green, white. You could do it certainly in a metallic or something else. You could put um, scrapbook paper over top of it. You could paint it. There's so many different things that you can do with it. They only had one. They had some house shapes and they had some other ones, but I'm on the lookout for the stars because I think that they could be really, really fun uh, Christmas decor. They have a new chalkboard um, with uh, the jot line and, you know, typically they have that one that's probably about like this big. 
This is a really, this is an eight and a half by 11 or an eight by 11. So I think I'm gonna play around with this, but I think I can put this inside of a frame and create like a really nice, like framed chalkboard or something. And I was thinking, for my real estate office, maybe that could be fun. Um, this is just a fun, like beaded kind of, you could put it on a doorknob. Um, it's got the black beads there, and then it's got the letter M. They had these in a couple different letters, but again, thought that that was super, super cute. There is also these, probably my favorite thing to use for DIYs. I love making candle stands and different things with these. And, um, Grabbed a couple of these at Dollar Tree as well. They're great for succulent gardens too, especially if you want something like right on your coffee table. Um, I did grab another thing of vinyl um, for my Joy, uh, Cricut Joy, and it's just a, um, just a black vinyl. Again, just playing around with it. I've never really used a lot of their vinyl. Honestly, I typically just use um, the Cricut vinyl, but um, a more, kind of spring stuff. I was going to say fall for some reason just now. Reindeer moss. I love working with reindeer moss. I really like the way it smells too. I know that's random, but reindeer moss, some rocks, some of the Dollar Tree faux succulents. You can create a very cool like tablescape or something. Um, another plant hanger. I told you guys I got two of these. And um, this was also something that was kind of cute. Um, I don't know how it smells yet. Um, it's a diffuser set and this particular scent is a garden rain and uh, kind of looks like those where it's the kind of diffuser with the sticks and then the the I think there's probably oil in the bottom of them but I thought that it's small enough that maybe it could be in the bathroom and uh, would not be too overpowering now the Dollar Tree plus section of my store has been getting some really good stuff and these were I think they were three dollars uh, but they've had whiskey decanters They've had olive oil and like um, uh, balsamic vinegar holders. And this was super cute. I thought that honestly for possible, like I'm trying to grab things like this when I see them because I think that they could be like either fun for staging if I'm doing an open house or even to you know, include in like a gift basket, but look how beautiful that is. Like it's a wood kind of utensil holder and then you get these wood utensils. But if I were to take my Cricut and make a vinyl that could go on here that just says welcome home or something like that, I think that could be really, really fun. And you know, I'm licensed in the state of Georgia, but the great thing about what I'm doing is that Keller Williams is international. They're all over the country, but they're also international. So I am able to um, kind of refer business anywhere. So if you guys have a have a person that's looking and, you know, they don't live in Georgia, but you have a cousin that lives in Los Angeles, connect them with me and then I can find them a, an agent in California. It's kind of crazy the way it all works. Okay, last couple things. And these are food items that I did get for the pantry. And, um, this uh, pasta, this ready-made pasta, this is really good. This is super, super easy. If you just need a quick dinner, um, you put this in the microwave. I think you put it in for like 60 seconds and it is done. This is two servings. So it's, uh, you know, pretty, pretty good. And they had the penne pasta and then they also had the gamelli pasta, which again, super easy, super quick dinner. Um, grab some pasta sauce from Dollar Tree and you're done. And then these are my favorites. I grab these all the time, but these rice packages, you can get these rice packages at like, you know, Walmart and different things. They were $1.25. This one is the long grain white rice. This one is the whole brown rice. And then this one is the roasted chicken flavor. And again, it's like 60 seconds in the microwave. Maybe this is, yeah, this is 90 seconds. And again, you've got such an easy, quick dinner. Pair it with some chicken or something and uh, it makes life so much easier. I'm going to so many different networking events and my schedule is nuts. So I'm always, always on the go and uh, having some things like that are really great. All right, guys, that is the Dollar Tree haul. I'm working on some DIYs for this weekend and hopefully the next video you see is going to be, um, I've got to oh, look who made an appearance finally, Mr. Otis. Hi, baby, come here, come here. Come here, say hi. 
Come say hi. Come say hi. All right, there's Otis. He's like fighting me. He doesn't like to get on camera. Hey, baby. All right, we're out now. <laughs> I've got everything I need now. Otis came and said hello. All right, you guys take care. And uh, the upcoming videos, uh, DIY videos, I'm trying some Dollar Tree things that I show you guys. I decided to put together a video that's going to be like a, you know, try it before you buy it kind of a thing. And uh, yeah, I've got some fun content coming up. So um, looking forward to some outdoor stuff. And now I'm rambling, so I will say goodbye. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>